Let's go, Malvina. Charlie. I'm here because I've heard there's a teacher called Anne Marie. Now, she doesn't know I'm coming, so it's going to be a bit of a total shock. Right, this morning we do need to do a writing assessment. I've heard she's a bit low because of something that happened a few years ago. What sort of noun? Proper noun. So my job is to give her a bit of oomph. I love seeing the children thrive. You just said the same thing. You just said the same thing twice. <laughs> no matter how rubbish you feel, they can make you feel wonderful within seconds of speaking to them. She's not like any other teacher. She's like, she's like one of us, but older. Right, give her a clap. Anne Marie is an amazing teacher, genuinely is one in a million. Um, but 2016 was a really difficult year for the school. Um, our results plummeted, and as a year six teacher, Amory found that really difficult to move on from. No one knows I'm here. It's probably a good thing. Mm, yes. They look frightened already. <laughs> yes, keep going then, instead of flicking your hair, woman. Right, I'm on the right track. As a parallelogram, got right angles. The kids have spotted me. Okay. Hello. Hello. Anne Marie. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, when I saw this woman walking in, I thought it was my teacher, Miss Riley's sister. I am the lady of Blues for Men. Yeah. I didn't have no clue who she was. Right, number nine, I'm going for. Are we ready? I did A level maths. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure then. <laughs> no pressure. Right, which shape has two pairs of parallel sides? C. Put your hand up if you think she's correct. Put your hand up if you think she's wrong. Yeah, I'm giving you the look. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really met anyone famous before. It's really a pleasure to have someone like Janet in the room. Ah, right, look at me. <laughs> That's scary. Bye, Watch Come on, Stanger, coach. Tell me in a nutshell what happened. When the results came out, we didn't get the marks that we wanted. So we, I think we was in the bottom 10% of the country for such results. But for me, because we did so appallingly, I took it quite personally and I still do. Yeah, you sound quite emotional. Yeah, I do. I normally talk. cry. <laughs> Where is the school now? What is the school's ranking now? Uh, we got the highest improvement in reading last year, and I think we were third in maths for progress added. You're on a roll now. You've turned the school around. The school's doing really well. I've sat in the class and seen the kids. They're exemplary. I think I'm probably slightly hard on myself. got something here I want to show you. A little surprise. Shall we play it? The main thing I always remember about my year six teacher is that, to be fair, she was my favourite teacher <laughs> and she's the reason I'm doing really well now. So she got a scholarship? She got a scholarship to Leicester High School and then yes. All right, now this is another one of your former pupils. I really miss being in your classroom and you telling me off all the time. <laughs> I sometimes get away with that, but it doesn't really work. Anyway, thanks for all you've done. Bye. Isn't that good? Obviously, you're very successful, and it's all down to you. No, it's team effort. But I am very proud of them, yes. So if the kids are doing so well, you've got to like yourself a little bit more and think, not don't think badly of yourself. In a way, you're a perfectionist. I am a perfectionist. Yeah. So... Has anything that I've said to you today, <laughs> has any of it kind of just struck a little bit of a chord? I have listened. You've listened? I have listened. I'm hoping that Anne-Marie will actually see this as a positive and that she doesn't always have to be perfect. Um, and that's OK. <laughs>
Anne-Marie really, really cares about her work. She's passionate about it. Um, she's an exemplary teacher. <laughs> oh my goodness, a same job. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. A big surprise all round. Let's just say, always be prepared in teaching for the unexpected because we certainly learnt that lesson today.